my special greetings to uh, Dr. Uh, Faye Alvarez, uh, to Mr. Calvan, to Mr. Boop of the Sute University of Taiwan, and our dearly beloved uh, supervisor, uh, Dr. Imelda. Nakita kami niya itong January 14 and it's a pleasure to be together again. Now my message is very, very simple. It's a real uh, blessing for me. Double blessing. One, it is regarding the scholarship, uh, the, the, the prospect of the scholarship. And uh, the second, of course, is the main menu for today. Your mid-year uh, mid performance review and evaluation and school-based in service training. I will speak first of uh, the SUTE offer. I wish I were young again and be an applicant for a slot in that university. When I was young, I knew about uh, Taiwan already. When it was a young republic established by Chiang Kai shek who actually, uh, well, he was uh, practically deported by mainland China, by Mao Zedong at the time. So you will see that Taiwan is the basis of real democracy and a real example. So when it comes to education, Taiwan is also a great example of leadership in education. And Suki University is one among them. And so to Suke, thank you very much. Viva Suke University. Viva to any one of you who will be able to go there, a student or a teacher. Congratulations in advance. Take advantage of the situation. In my case, I am disqualified. <laughs> I am disqualified because I don't have the passport anymore. My passport expired three years ago. My visa expired just as well. After retiring from the diplomatic service, as ambassador to the United Nations, I did retire. Parang. I resigned. I did not renew anymore my diplomatic passport. What I obtained was the regular passport because I did not want to take advantage of my position. Here comes an opportunity for you. Indeed, education is a way of life. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, in our case, uh, I do not know if uh, Dr. Fay and uh, some of you know that uh, before, during our time, huh, I would like to repeat, during our time, we have to walk a distance of 18 kilometers just to be able to get an education in the elementary level after 1946. So there you are, and barefooted yet. Now, no longer barefooted, you, are motor you have motorcycles all over. So, to the future candidates for Sutta University, my congratulations in advance. God bless you along the way. Now, in your midterm review, mid-year, I will, I do not know when it is mid-year. Uh, I would suppose that there will be an end of the year uh, review as well, no? So, I remember very well, as a matter of fact, I first knew Mr. Pignol. In 2016, there also was a mid-year uh, uh, conference here, and I met him for the first time. He was there, I think, a principal of Bolasa, no? Bolasa. So it was the first time that I had a chance to be in a mid-year uh, um, performance review and evaluation, but school-based, no? Well, uh, great changes have come to us. You have a new secretary of the Department of Education, who is the incumbent vice president. There are new prospects for uh, some kind of uh, uh, approaches in education. I do not know uh, how far we can go in the matter of education. The fact is to me, education must develop the integrity of the human person. So we have to come to a point when everybody should realize that the inner value of freedom, of liberty, of truth, justice, equality, peace and love must be the real foundation of education. To me, education is worthless if it will not change the person, if it will not change 
the way of life for the individual. Education, therefore, is human made, and it must be in accord with the will of the divine providence, because God so designs, because God is the best educator. So my message for this morning would only be what I have also sent this morning to many of my, many of my friends uh, through text. Uh, very simple message, and uh, I wish that uh, you can also embody these thoughts. My message this morning to about 300 people is this. Today, Wednesday, the 8th of February, let us learn and practice these inspiring virtues and values. Okay, now. Taas, taas, ni. Nakadawat na ni si si Rasi Gingging. Okay. Yeah. These inspiring virtues and values. Praise, honor, glorify, and thank God for His graces. It is gratefulness and faith. Perceive, receive His blessings in silence. It is humility. Share your blessings without conditions, with others. It is love. Help those with great difficulties or in pains. It is mercy. Work with joy and happiness. It is enthusiasm. Understand that not everyone is at your level. It is tolerance. Give everyone the best of yourself. It is compassion. Trust that everything will be okay. It is faith and hope in the Lord. The Lord is our life and salvation. We have nothing to fear. That is from Psalm 27 verse 11. Indeed, educators are light of the world. So that is also what Jesus has said. You must be salt of the earth and light of the world. That is taken from Matthew chapter 5, verse 11. So to all of you, I hope that we truly would enjoy a real, perfect education in the hands of our teachers. You teachers are chosen by God to be instruments of His love, mercy, and compassion. God bless us all. Viva to all of us. Thank you very much.